We are back from being at Ford Field on Thanksgiving, and we have a better setup now. Not on a cell phone. Grainy looking image, terrible audio, all of that lovely stuff there. In this video, we're going to talk about overreaction, not Monday, but Friday, because the Lions did lose yesterday on Thanksgiving. We're going to get into, is it build Fort Fluff? We're going to talk about that. Dan Campbell's play calling, should it get removed? As well as, should everybody get fired? Is this the worst team ever that the Lions have had? We're going to get all into it in this video. But if you would like to know what it feels like to be in a shower in a prison while you drop the soap, and a big guy named Bubba who's 6'5", who has not seen anything good in many, many years, and looking at you like you are pretty, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel because we talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors, and sometimes you can just get ripped up like never before, and that's just what it is. Also, go ahead and drop the like button on the floor, not the soap, and let that one get tore up from the floor up. Let's begin with Overreaction Friday. This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything, Detroit. Lines, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. Built Ford Fluff. That will be the discussion right here. We heard Sheila Ford Hamp before the season started, before we hired Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell and got this thing moving that they're going to be a competent team here and we're going to be building the correct way. We're going to do everything we want to do to build a winner. She wants to win. She wants to bring success to Detroit. And a lot of people are saying, is it a bunch of BS? Do they really not care? Do they care? What is it? I do believe they care to an extent. I believe that nobody likes losing. And if you are a person of business and you watch your business fail and you're not thinking that's something wrong with that, then I'm going to go ahead and say there's something wrong with that business owner. I think they do care. The problem is, is they just have been terrible. Comment on the video. Do you think they actually care? It's simple. Just go ahead. Why for yes and for no? Let me know. Do you think Fords actually care? They've been mismanaging the Detroit Lions for many, many, many decades. Ever since they've owned this team, it has been nothing but a pile of BS. And so the fan base are upset. The fan base thinks they're just talking out of their two points contact. And 100%. There is no reason to tell a Lions fan that when if they think the Fords don't care, that they're full of it. Because they have a legitimate reason to believe that. Now, I personally believe they do want to win. I just think they're incompetent. I think they don't know how to win. I think they don't know how to run an organization. Dan Campbell play calling should stop. Is this an overreaction? No! This is 100% correct. His play calling has been terrible the last two weeks. All we've seen is the screen play, five-yard pass, run on third and long. This needs to stop. It's terrible. Literally, defenses already know what the play is going to be. We were in the stands, and we everyone knew what the play call was going to be. It was third and long. Here we go. It's going to be a screen play, or it's going to be run. And it's just god-awful. We have to get creative in calling plays on offense. The definition of insanity right now is this offense. Not doing the same thing over and over again. It's just this offense. It's terrible. So, yes, he should remove himself from play calling. Anthony DeLynn's not that much better, but he is better because what is going on with Dan Campbell is absolutely terrifying from a wanting to care about what takes place on offense standpoint. So, remove him from play calling. Dan Campbell, just stop it, man. Just stop it. Give an offensive mind the playbook. Let them do the business. I understand you want a specific way, but the way right now that you're calling it is not working. I'm already hearing murmurs that this coaching staff has lost the locker room. Is this an overreaction? I understand from a fan standpoint to suggest yes, but I'm going to say no, they have not lost the locker room. You see players like Jerry Jacobs here. This guy 
undrafted rookie. He's playing out of his mind the best that he can do. It, it, it's absolutely good to see. It's fun to see. For a team that's winless, it's kind of shocking that they're playing fairly tough, but they are playing tough. They are playing hard. Mani Awari, you're seeing this defense really get better and better as time goes along, and still we're winless. I don't think at all that the players are completely written off this coaching staff, written off this leadership. Now, there could be some players in there, no doubt about it, that don't believe in it. I, You know, that's pretty much a given. That's a possibility that could be in place. But as a majority, I don't believe so because you're seeing the fight. You're seeing the grittiness. You're seeing the defensive line, you, you know, doing the best they can do. You're seeing the linebackers, Alex Anzalone. You're seeing Derek Barnes. They're pushing it. Monty Awarie turnover. So I don't think they've lost the locker room. I think that they are fighting hard, but at some point, could they? It's very possible, but I just don't believe it's happening right now. Comment on the video. Do you think that the Fords, that Spielman should fire everybody? Let me know in the comment section why for yes and for no. What do you guys think? Another overreaction, is it an overreaction, is the Detroit Lions, that Sheila Ford Ham, that Spielman, they need to just go ahead and fire everybody, start over, not just Dan Campbell, but Anthony Lynn, talking about Aaron Glenn, everybody needs to go because the Lions are winless. Again, I understand the frustrations. I'm not going to argue and get in a fight over a fan who thinks this way. Why? Because you have the right to think whatever you want to think, and being winless sucks. So, of course, you're going to be upset. Everyone's going to be upset if you're a fan of the Lions, but I don't think that would be the smart thing to do to go ahead and restart like they did in other teams like Wilkes. They, it was a one-year thing. I do believe that this coaching staff understands players, and the players are playing hard for them. I just think there's incompetence in what is taking place. Dan Campbell, I think he shouldn't be a play caller. What I think needs to be done is when this season is over, and we got six weeks till it's over, that first off, Anthony Lynn should be let go because I do 100% believe that there's a rift. And I think that Dan Campbell needs to find a great offensive mind and go ahead and hire that individual to lead this offense. I think that's really important. I think Aaron Glenn's doing a good job. Yes, he made a mistake in this game. Yes, there's mistakes made by coaches. But overall, if you look at this defense, I mean, we're talking about they were 31 last year, and they're playing much better with less talent. So I think that's a testament to the coaching. We need help on offense. We need to get a mind in here. Dan Campbell needs to become a head coach and not – focus just on offense. He needs to be a leader of men and delegate responsibility to his coaches. Be the leader. Be the guy that you're supposed to be, not the individual that's micromanaging the offense because you're not a play caller, and when you are calling plays, it's not doing a good job. So find a man who can do this and lead this offense in the correct direction. I think that will help. Also, they need to really get a lot of help when it comes to wide receivers and free agency in the draft. You have to get talent. Right now, the wide receivers are hurting the play on this offense. I think the quarterback's hurting. I think that the flags are hurting this offense. There's a lot of things that's right now hurting this offense, and it's making us look bad. I think if, if the offense was just a mid-tier offense, we would not be winless right now. I think the defense is playing strong. And if you even look at the special teams, yes, Haj, he screwed up yesterday. I watched it, and he couldn't find the ball. But the special teams is doing very good. So you're talking about out of the two, out of the three are doing good. So fire everybody seems a little hyperbolic. Let's focus on this offense in this offseason, get the talent, get a bright-minded offensive coordinator, and build this offense correctly and continue to get pieces on defense. And I think you're going to start to see wins next year. I'm not saying we're going to have a winning season. I'm not going to say we're going to go to the playoffs. But I think you'll see start to get correct, start to be more competitive. Because with lack of quarterback, wide receivers, a lack of mind on offense, this is what you get. Another 
overreaction on Reaction Friday here is, is this the worst team ever? I, I say it, it's not an overreaction to say this. It does feel like it's the worst team of all time. Obviously, in 2008, we went 0-16. Well, I feel like we're losing in so many different ways that it's it's crazy. Like we're we're losing by coaches, and then we lose by offense. In the beginning of the year, is a lot of defense. So there is issues here. I, to say it's the worst team ever, say I. It's hard to say because 2008 was trash, and we are fighting. But they were close in 2008. So I'm gonna say no. They're not the worst team ever. Definitely the second worst team ever. But if it continues to roll this way, we could finish that way. For sure, 0-16-1 is, is terrible. It's god-awful. 0-16 was awful, too, in 2008. So right now I'm going to say it's a little bit of an overreaction, but I'm not going to be arguing with anybody if they believe they're the worst team ever. One Pride Podcast back on my channel on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. EST. So if you're new to the channel, hey, this is what we do. We talk all things Detroit Lions, NFL. We talk about free agency, the NFL draft. We talk about everything. Come on down on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Want to make some money? Then go to chatsports.com slash Lions bet. That is bet US. Just do not bet on the Detroit Lions winning a football game. Why? Because that is not a smart thing to do as of right now. But you can bet on other games as well. If you put in the promo code Lions125, you get 125 percent deposit bonus make a little bit of money might as well just go ahead and get started in the sports betting